You see that? Look at the storm coming in on us. Welcome to today. We stayed at Eagle Mountain last night, just off of the Transamerica Trail. This morning has been all backcountry roads. If you look right down this road here, that is a prime example of what we've been dealing with since we woke up and got on the road. A lot of little farmhouses. Tons of barns, old barns and cow. Yeah. Everywhere. Fields, mm -hmm. windy roads, and a lot of pavement. Stop here to check in with you all. I want to show you on the map real quick what exactly we're doing. Okay. So what you're looking at here is Pelham, which is pretty close to where we stayed last night. Now we're taking this route to Good Spring. It's 119 miles. We are about 20 miles in, and it has been all pavement backcountry, like we said, up to this point. Headed west, who knows where we're gonna make it today. We have learned one thing and that's what? We don't make destinations. We're not making destinations anymore this trip. Yeah, because it's unrealistic kind of. We're just going. We're just going, taking where the road takes us, stopping when we wanna stop, start when we wanna start. We are enjoying the trip, we are making it ours. This is the type of riding I've always dreamed of. So often I'm on schedules. If you've got a higher cause like charity, like we often do, then of course you gotta meet those deadlines. But this one, we're just taking it easy and enjoying it. Enjoying each other. Enjoying each other. So. Yep. <laughs> She's such a delight. All right, guys, uh, have fun with it. That's the most important thing, and that's one thing I want to share on this trip is good advice for people to get out and just have fun. Let's get back to riding. We are back on gravel. Why is this like a chicken farm or something going on over there? That's definitely what that is. Oh, yeah. It's gravel, baby. It is gravel. She's happy. The bike is happy. All right. You're looking great, by the way, baby. Oh, well, thank you. You look like a real professional. Oh, it's just looks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looks. Looks to be deceiving. <laughs> look at that old Some pond. thick gravel, too. It is thick gravel. They didn't like your bike. Oh, they did. It's loud. It's your bike is loud. loud. One of my favorite things about my bike is how quiet it is, because I can sneak up on the wildlife. You can hear probably some road noise right off of a highway right now. This trail actually cuts over the top of a lot of highways, but it hasn't put us on too many. No, not too bad at all. And the second section of this trail has been a little bit different than the first. We had some gravel. Yeah, <laughs> we did have some <laughs> gravel. We were hoping for dirt and river crossings like we had the other day. I mean, just kidding. Yeah, I mean, we were looking for some more challenge, but right now we're just happy to get the gravel. And yeah. we did get some of it in this last section. Yeah, we did. Probably about 20, 30 miles of it, but we're back to the pavement. Let's check in when we hit gravel again, or dirt. Dirt would be good. Yes. See that? That is water. We've got the storm coming in on us. So we're trying to figure out what we should do. Looks like we've kind of driven into it, which is what Ashley thought just might happen. Whether we'll need rain gear or not, I'm not sure, but we are gonna keep riding. If it gets too heavy, we'll put on rain gear. For those of you that wanna know, the app I use for this is My Radar, and it works really, really good. It's a good app. All right, let's ride. One thing I've learned for sure is at this stage, I'm glad I've got the bigger Africa Twin. A lot of people told me that I should be doing it on something smaller, like a 250 or a 450. And I have to say, this traveling would have been absolutely miserable had I been on a smaller bike because we're often hitting higher speeds. But I think it's gonna change the further west I go. I think we're gonna hit some mud. My fingers are crossed. We did hit a little gravel today. I'm hoping to hit more tomorrow. We will see how it goes. All in all, Transamerica Trail from Maggie Valley to here, 90% pavement. 10% dirt, but beautiful, small, little cultural towns all across America. 
Roads you would never find without this map. And frankly, roads you could take on any type of touring motorcycle. It doesn't have to be a dirt bike up to this point. Listen y'all, please click subscribe here on my YouTube channel to follow our journey through the rest of our videos. And if you're watching on Facebook, please consider going over to my YouTube channel. It's just Adam Sandoval on YouTube. Click that subscribe button, it's 100% free, and you will get the latest and fastest content that we can deliver all across what is the Trans-America Trail. I'm gonna close with an old statement I used to say, and that is life is short by the damn motorcycle.